Hey YouTube, it's Leslie. Today's video is going to be a glowy makeup tutorial. It's been a while since I've done a video where I'm applying my full makeup and I've been wearing a lot more products to give my face a bit more of a glow. So if you're interested, stay tuned. First I'm going to start by moisturising my skin and I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and this was sent to me but I have been using it every day for the last few months. Next I'm going to prime my skin and again there's another one that was sent to me, it's by Murad and it's their Invisibler and what this does is it just helps the makeup sit on the skin longer. And next I'm going to go in with the Hylamide Photography Foundation. This is something I bought a couple of weeks ago and I just wanted something to give my skin that sort of dewy glowiness without actually making it oily and this has been working really well. And next I'm going to go in with foundation. So I use MAC Pro Longwear foundation and it's in NC40 but it's actually too pink for my skin and a little bit too light for me at the moment. So I end up mixing it with the face and body foundation in C6 and a little of the Makeup Forever chromatic mix in yellow. Together it makes the perfect foundation so this is just what I do. I usually mix it up in batches and then apply. And I have a video on this if you want anything that's a bit more in depth. So I usually use a brush, but for some reason today I decided to apply with my fingers, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so I just kind of dot it on and then blend it in. I'm applying all over my face and up to my forehead. So next I take the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, and it's damp at the moment, and I'm just using it to just make sure that that foundation is completely blended. Then I take the NC42 shade in the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette and this is just to dot over my spots, I'm just starting to break out. So I'm just dabbing it over and then patting it in. And there's just one annoying spot on my forehead, but hey, it happens. So then I'm going to just take off the extra foundation that's on my lips. Oh, I've got my face back. I'm going to take another concealer by MAC, it's the Studio Conceal and Correct Duo and I'm just going to use the yellow side to brighten my under eye area. And I don't actually have a under eye concealer so if anyone's got any suggestions let me know. And then I'm just going to go back in with that Miracle Complexion Sponge and just blend it out. To set my face I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime CC Colour Correcting Loose Powder in yellow and I'm going to use a Real Techniques powder brush. So I'm just applying that all over my face because I do get really oily and if I get oily throughout the day I'll just apply this again. And then I'm going to do my brows with the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. This is the colour Espresso and I'm using the MAC 263 Small Angled Brush. And I recently just did a video on how I fill in my brows, so if you want to see that more in depth, I'll link the video to that below. I can never get over how different I look with my brows actually drawn on. I feel like my face isn't complete if I haven't done my brows. Okay, so I'm just going to set them in place and I'm using the Isla Brow Amplifier. And this stuff gets really clumpy, but it does actually do a good job of filling in the brows and just keeping them in place and just making them look a bit more groomed so I always do this step. And next I'm going to take the Stilla Perfect Me Perfect Hue palette and just taking that blush in the corner. This is the light slash medium palette. Again this was sent to me um, but I, I haven't really played with it much and then I'm applying this with a Real Techniques blush brush. So to add that glow, next I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight in Opal. So this is a travel size version from the Glow on the Go kit. And I decided to get this because I've never used anything by Becca before and I thought this would be a good way to try it. And I also don't ever use highlighter. And the reason is because I get milia, and if you've not heard of that, it's when you get small bumps under the skin. So if you put a highlighter on that, it just kind of emphasises the fact that your skin texture is not even. In general, I tend to avoid highlighter, but I want to try a glowy foundation look, so I'm using highlighter. I've applied it in the areas where the light would naturally hit my face. So next I'm going to use a little of the other half of the kit 
which is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Opal. And oh my god, this is gorgeous. And I'm applying with the Real Technique setting brush. I'm applying it in the same places as the Spotlight Opal. Oh my god, look at that highlight. And then for my lips, I'm going to use the MAC Cream In Your Coffee lipstick. Um, I got this recently with the Back to MAC program. But this is a really pretty pink. And then I'm going to apply a little mascara. It's by Max Factor. It's the Voluptuous Full Slash Effect. It's not my favourite mascara. Um, I got it at an event. The brush is really big and my eyes are tiny so I end up like smearing it everywhere. But I haven't got any other mascara so that'll do. And then lastly I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus to set my face in place. And this is a finished look. It's a way of oily girls doing the whole glowy makeup look so it's kind of set but I still got that kind of shine without being like sticky and oily. So I hope you like this and if you do don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in a new video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.